of Little Giant plastic dome feeders and waters. And I'm going to show you how to assemble the legs on one of the waters. So all of the bases that you see here are identical. Same size, same set of legs, everything. So what I'm showing you applies to any one of these sizes. When you get the feeder, it's most likely going to look, or water, it's going to look like this. And I'll come with a bag that inside the bag has three legs. And then it will have some sort of top. For the feeder, it's going to have this top that's the screw top. It's very easy to put on. For the water, I'm going to show you that because it has something very special. It's got this little black o-ring. You need to take this o-ring and install it in here. All you do is press it in like this. And it looks like that. That's a very important piece because if you don't have that, then your water might leak and it won't create the proper seal to make the vacuum. So all you need to do is take your base, again, same size, no matter which size you pick, the base is the same. You take this, the legs are shaped like this with a curved side and a flat side. You just put it in the proper way to the curved side and flat side on the bottom. And you flip it over, give it a good shove into the ground. Then you take your jar, again this is the smallest size, this water holds 5 gallons. Then the other two sizes are medium and large, that holds 8 and 10 gallons. This small one, all you do is take the jar and you place it in like this. Get in there nice and tight. Then you'll fill it with the water. Now the one thing before you fill it, you need to make sure that this red ring down here is down. Because that's going to cover the hole and keep the water in. Fill it with the water, then you screw this cap on, and again, very important, you screw it on tight, but not too tight, because if you make it too tight, then it's not going to create the proper seal. Okay, once you have the ring in the bottom, you pull it up, and it opens up the hole down there so the water can come out, and as soon as you do that, the water will start flowing into the bottom, and because this cap is on the correct way, it's going to create a vacuum seal, and you'll have water for your chickens.